Good morning, guys. Happy Tuesday. Man, that sun is bright behind me. Same smoothie as yesterday. Hopefully things won't be too boring this week, but I'm just really going for like what gets me in my protein and my calories and all of that. But I've been loving this smoothie. I had it almost every day last week and just loving it. Um, so I have that. I brought kind of the same snack as yesterday for my morning snack. I brought one of the good culture um, cottage cheeses, uh, the other half of the avocado that I had yesterday. And then I did bring some grapes and I did not bring my afternoon snack. I'll have to get that ready at lunchtime. Yesterday I had it ready and brought it with me and put it in my fridge, but I'll just have to remember to do that at lunchtime. Tonight's dinner I am so excited about. I am gonna be making some street tacos and the marinade on this sounded so good. I'll be doing that at lunchtime, getting it ready in the marinade and then that way it can sit the rest of the day. And oh my goodness, you guys. So stay tuned for that recipe. That will be at the end of this video. I will show you step-by-step step on how to make those. So I plan on having three of those cause I got the little tiny itty bitty like street taco tortillas. So I'm gonna do three of those with like a big salad on the side. So anyway, stay tuned for that. Alrighty, I'm gonna head to work. For my morning snack, I had some cottage cheese with avocado, everything but the bagel seasoning and a cup of green grapes. I am getting the marinade ready for the street tacos for tonight. So we need a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. Oh, and I'll put the recipe down below, which I cut the recipe in half because the recipe is like eight servings. So don't need that many servings, so I did cut it in half. Um, so I need a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. We need a half a tablespoon of oil. I need three ounces of pineapple juice, so I'm just gonna drain this and I'll just eat the pineapple. Half a tablespoon of Worcestershire, some minced garlic, um, cilantro, lime juice, we need an eighth of a cup. And now for my seasoning. So I don't have enough chili powder because I made more taco seasoning. <laughs> So I think I'm just gonna use some taco seasoning and then um, it also calls for cumin, like a half a teaspoon. And I needed a half a tablespoon of chili powder, but like I said, don't have any. And this is mostly chili powder, so we'll just improvise a little bit. So I'm gonna put all this into a bag with the chicken and we'll let that marinate until I get home from work and then we will grill it up. Alrighty, this will be marinating for the next three hours, no. I can't do math today, four hours <laughs> until I get off work. And then I'll show you the next steps. Here is my lunch for today. I have a half of a cup of brown rice, a half of a cup of cauliflower rice, quarter cup of black beans, some lettuce, some of the blackened chicken strips, topped it with some of this red taco sauce, and then some of this zesty ranch sauce. So I just did a serving of that, which is only 20 calories. And that is my lunch today. My afternoon snack for today is going to be some, I have um, veggies here with some red pepper hummus, two of the turkey sticks, a cheese stick, and then instead of um, eggs today, I'm gonna have one of these triple zero Oikos yogurts. Guys, so I'm heading back to work. I had zero time today, zero. Um, I did not make my snack this morning, so I didn't have that ready. I, um, had to get my dinner stuff ready. When I left work, it took me 12 minutes to get home and I only live a mile away, but um, my work is right, right next door to the courthouse and the traffic on the main road was super busy. So I thought I'm just gonna go up and around and just go on the road that I live on. Normally I don't take that way because I get stuck behind, it's only 25 and I get stuck behind like school buses and all that other stuff. So anyway, I normally just take the main road, which is like 45, so I can get home usually within like three minutes. Anyway, so I got stuck behind so much traffic by the courthouse that it took me 12 minutes to get home. And I am insanely busy today. So I had to bring my lunch with me, brought my snack. I have my protein coffee. I did not show you that, so I do have that. So I gotta get that protein in. And I'm gonna go back to work and eat while I'm at my desk. Seriously, this is like, this has been, I, I'm glad I'm on a regular schedule with work again, but today has been super, super hectic and I'm the only one there in the office today and everybody has HR issues today. Everybody. Or just questions in general. It's just one of those days. Anyway, but yeah, that's what I'm there for. That's why I like HR. I like to help people and I love like, but when I get, when I'm so like busy right now because being, you know, being out of the office all last week, it just... 
got me really behind and I hate that feeling of playing catch up constantly. So I'll feel a lot better if I can get everything caught up and then I don't mind talking to people when they come into my office. But anywho, okay, I'm gonna head out. I will see you guys at dinner. Guys, it's about six o'clock. I just, I got home from work and oh, I'm so sleepy. It's been, been such a busy day. Um, but I wanted to kind of give you a little update before I made dinner. One thing I forgot to mention, I've had people sending me messages on Instagram and, um, and on my Facebook and stuff asking me who I had done my macros and I thought I mentioned it. Sorry, I did not. Um, but Jen Clayton did them and I will link her, um, website down below and her YouTube channel down below. So that's who I had do them. And I, like I said, I cannot wait to see how everything goes. I'm feeling really good. I did not have not tracked anything yet today, which is so bad because I meant to sit down and do it last night. That's what I've been trying to do, like is track the day before and kind of plan out my day. But I've done really well. And I wanna tell you a total non-scale victory for me because I told you guys, I've been totally like eating my stress and you know that's what i've been doing the last couple of weeks really heavily and today was a very high level stress day and there was donuts in the break room but i i mean and i went in there to go i didn't even know they were in there i went in there to get some water fill up my water which i've done really good on water went in there to fill up my water and i could smell them like i i can smell a donut <laughs> and i could smell them as i was walking down the hallway into then went into I'm like gosh I smell donuts as I'm walking down the hallway I walk in the room and the smell is so strong and I glanced over there but then I went and got my water and walked out of there but I did not go back in <laughs> so honestly like it was it was just very hard for me because it like I said it was a very high high stress level day so but yes very funny anyway um but I did really good. Um, but I did not eat 100% of my lunch, mainly because I did not get a chance to eat it all at lunchtime. And then when I got back to my office, oh my gosh, I still need to do a workout and I'm sleepy. Um, when I got back to my office, my boss was there and I had like a list of things to talk to her about before she had to go into her interviews. So I um, went right, just dropped my stuff and went right into her office and ended up talking to her for like 45 minutes. And then I went back to eat my lunch. So it was like 2.45, I mean, not 2.45, 1.45. And I started eating my lunch and I only got about halfway and then I got super busy. Um, so I ended up eating probably about three quarters of it. Um, and then I had my snack like at four. So I'm not like overly super starving right now, but I got back at four. I mean, I started eating my snack at four, but I did not eat the cheese stick. The cheese sticks tasted a little funky yesterday and so, and I threw away the package so I can't even like see the dates on there. So I wasn't like overly excited to eat that and I did not eat my yogurt in uh, other, oh my gosh, I can't speak. I also did not eat my yogurt. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, while I'm on my treadmill, I'm going to track everything and see where I'm at. I'll probably for sure have a yogurt tonight after dinner because that was a really nice like little treat to have that yogurt after dinner last night. But I'm gonna, um, really track everything and to see if I need to like maybe double up on my meat with my dinner or something like that and to get more protein in and more calories in that way I'm not like starving so I think that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go ahead and get changed into my clothes get on my exercise bike and track everything and see where I'm going where, where I'm at for the day I really want to get back into the habit though pre-tracking on the days of like when I know like tomorrow I have no idea what I'm gonna be eating because we're traveling again so my plan is to throw some of those turkey sticks in a bag and then probably take like a protein bar. I have some of the healthy on the go bars. I'm gonna take one of those and some, and some turkey sticks. And then um, I'm at the mercy of where we end up going and eating, but I will have my protein shake in the morning as well. And then probably when we get home, because I'm thinking that we'll probably be home fairly early-ish and I have to go, um, well, like, I don't think like super early, but um, like I'm thinking probably maybe by 2.30, 3 o'clock. And at that point I can have my protein coffee or something when I get home. But I'm a, I need to run to Walmart and pick up prescriptions and all that stuff that I forgot to do this weekend. So I have a busy day tomorrow. 
So then we're back Thursday. I cannot believe how sleepy I am. I do not know why. I even I even slept through my alarm today, which well, I didn't really sleep through my alarm. I just actually pushed the snooze on it, which I have not been doing in a long, long time. But I pushed it, I don't know how much, I pushed it for a half an hour and I have not done that in a long time. And so I did not get out of bed till six, which is super late for me. So anyhow, just wanted to give you a little update. So let me get on my bike do my macros, and then when I edit my video, you'll have all of that. But I'll show you dinner here in just a second. I grilled up my chicken in the air fryer. I'm just chopping it all up and then putting my tacos together. So I have three of the La Banterita street tacos um, with some white onion, cilantro, and then just a big side salad with some Bolt House ranch on it. Hey guys, so it's the end of the night and I wanted to give you all of my totals for the day. And I'm sorry I did not get to show you the rest of how to make dinner, but there really wasn't much else to show you, but I had to charge my battery or else I wouldn't have been able to film this part of the video. So I went ahead and just charged up my battery while I finished dinner, but literally just took the chicken breasts, threw them in the air fryer for 15 minutes at 400 till they were nice and grilled up, chopped them up. And then you saw, I did show you my plate where I had the three tacos and the big salad, and that was my dinner. So let me tell you, I'm gonna have a peach yogurt, one of the Oikos triple zero yogurts. I'm gonna have one of those, so the totals I'm gonna give you does include that um, yogurt, so I'm gonna have that um, sometime tonight while I'm editing my video. So um, a reminder, I with my macros, I have 1,601 calories as my goal. I did 1,570. So a little bit less than yesterday, but this is still like, I mean, that's what, 40? No, less than 40. So that would be like 30, 31 calories. Not that bad at all. Um, 176 out of 158 protein. So did good on my protein again. Um, my carb goal is 110, I did 116. So again, not bad. And then my fat, 48 out of 49. Um, as far as my points, I earned three extra points today. I get 18 WW points. I uh, earned three yesterday and I used 17. So I didn't even use the three extra. So 17 out of 21 and I'm still hitting all my macros. So that doesn't always happen. As you saw yesterday, I used 23 points. However, I again, I think I earned two or three yesterday. So that was like 23 out of 20 or 23 out of 21, something like that. But I usually do pretty good with my um, points. I feel like that they usually do line up pretty well. And I think that is because I do, like I said, I naturally use my zero point foods to kind of plan my meals around. I know this is not the case with everybody. Some people, when they're counting um, calories and macros and their points, they end up using a lot more points than they do with everything else. But as you can see, you don't have to, it's really up to you. But I feel like you can be successful either way. Just use the program how you wanna use it. Um, I always say WW really is just a guide. And you guys know I've always said that from the very moment that I started doing it six years ago. Um, it really has been my guide to just choosing certain foods first. And that's really what I've always used it for and for portion control because I would say WW has definitely been um, the best for me for portion control because I started it so far before zero point foods. But then when zero point foods even came along, I still always weighed and measured them. I've never looked at it like, you know, I'll just can eat as many as I want because there's zero points. I've never viewed it that way. So maybe that's why I've been so successful over the years with the WW plans as they've changed. Um, I think that's why I've been so successful because I never veered off of the weighing and measuring. And it's also why I, it's so easy for me to count calories and macros again, because I've always done that. So um, for me, WW is just such a good baseline for my lifestyle. And that's kind of like how I like to think of it. It's like kind of my baseline. But as you can tell, it works for me and I did really well. So I'm feeling just super, super pumped about this protein. Um, I, yeah, I'm just, I've not felt hungry. Like I have felt so satisfied. Um, I do feel like for purposes of my videos every day, I feel like they're a little boring. Like I feel like that they can get a little repetitive because I am, you know, for me, like having those cheese sticks and the eggs 
and the or the turkey sticks and the chase stick and the eggs is such a good like high protein like snack for me that I can eat it like every day and I feel like that's boring for you guys so I, I'm gonna try to give you a variety and give you more choices but and even like the cottage cheese and the avocado well I love that it's like one of my favorite things and always has been so I do try to make, that's why I try to make mix it up with my dinners and my lunches and all of that. So anyway, <coughs> excuse me, I, I'm just feeling really good, really pumped and raring to go. So tomorrow I will not be filming, like I said, because I will be out um, most of the day. So I won't be filming, but I will be back to filming on Thursday. So you'll see that it'd be mostly leftovers, although I do have a new recipe, a new flatbread pizza because I told you guys I am like obsessed with like the flatbread pizza so I have a brand new one for you tomorrow. You can see how red my face is because I did my leg workout and my face is really red because it got really hot in here. Anyway, my um, I'm gonna go finish editing because my husband will be home soon and I'll see you guys on Thursday. Bye guys.